Buenos dias from Guanajuato, Mexico. We're on our hotel terrace enjoying our breakfast. In this video, we'll share how you can have an amazing 48 hours right here in Guanajuato. important for us when we came here to stay at a hotel that gave us a view. And that's exactly what we did at Hotelito Casa Dionisio. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. When we first walked in both the room and then up here on the terrace, I think it just felt like magical. Yeah. The, the view is spectacular. Everything about this hotel is very um, perfectly put together. It's warm, it's inviting. Um, it's really well located, it's close to everything, yeah. and all of the staff here are super duper friendly. Our first activity after arriving, and one thing we would very much recommend, I think, is to just wander around the sort of Centro Historico part of Guanajuato. That's what we did. Um, we found ourselves right in front of Teatro Juarez, almost by accident, Beautiful. and like pretty much right away. And we decided to just go into it and have a look around. You do have to pay a little bit to, to tour the theater, but it is well worth every yeah. penny. It is fantastic. And then we just kind of hit up the, the plaza, Plaza Union, just outside of it. There's such a buzz in the air there. Tons of people to see, there's music, there's restaurants, there's hotels. It's just like filled with action. Of course, one of the iconic landmarks here in Guanajuato is the Basilica. So we had to check that out as well. Yes. It's, a, it's a beautiful church, well worth seeing for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And there are a ton of churches here yeah. in Guanajuato, similar to many other Mexican cities. There's just these wonderful, beautiful basilicas, bigger ones, smaller ones. If the doors are open, we highly recommend just stopping Love in. It. It's always worth it, even if just to cool off. So we're almost always hungry when we first arrive in a new town and we had a bead on a place. It turned out to be fantastic. The food was, was great, the service was amazing and the prices were very reasonable. If you're looking at the menu and you're not sure what to get, we recommend the quesadillas. They were fantastic, very inexpensive as well. Yes, and the sopa azteca was oh. wonderful. Very filling, we shared it, and I yeah. think we were both really glad that we did, yeah. but incredibly flavorful. Like, the tortillas were great, the soup itself was great, and they serve it to you with like sides that you can add in, so you can make it exactly how you want it. So one of the bonuses of this hotel is that they have a beautiful terrace, which we're sitting on right now, and they serve you breakfast in the mornings. And we took advantage of that every morning. There are a ton of museums here in Guanajuato. It's filled with cultural activities that you can do. One of the first things we chose to do was go to the Alhandiga Museum. There's a great story behind that museum. It used to be a granary. Then it was like one of the sites of revolution, It's I the, guess. Fir the first battle for independence. Yes, exactly. And now it's a museum, a really cool museum about the history of the area and of the fight for Mexican independence. And it features these beautiful murals. So if for no other reason, we recommend going just to see those murals. See it murals. was well worth the price of admission. And it was a really fun walk for us to get down there yeah. for sure. Seeing the murals, seeing the artifacts, seeing the art pieces, um, well worth it. It really connects you to the town and to Mexico in general. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe and be sure to check out our whole Mexico playlist. There's a bunch of other videos for you to see. So if you're in Guanajuato, you've probably heard about the Mummy Museum and it really is a tourism draw. Absolutely. A lot of people yeah. go there and a lot of people were there when we were there. So the Mummy Museum essentially is a, is a museum of mummified people, locals, that they discovered had not decayed like expected. Yeah. There's a story behind it, but the point is, is essentially that these, these locals are now mummified and that you can go see them in this museum. And of course, we wanted to as well. It's definitely a cool experience. Especially if you're the morbid kind of person. Yeah, if you love mummies, or Halloween, Dead people. or ghost stories, or anything like that. There's a big, beautiful Mercado here. It looks like a train station because I think it was once, wasn't it? It was constructed to be a train station. Yeah. I don't know if it ever it was. It looks like once. a train station you'd see in Paris. Yeah. But now it's a Mercado, Mercado Hidalgo. So we had to walk there and check it out. Um, and, and it was exactly what we expected. A big, beautiful market filled with 
uh, food vendors and shops selling all kinds of different things. Uh, basically anything you could, you could imagine is that you're gonna be able to find it there. Uh, and everybody we bumped into, everybody we kind of interacted with was very friendly and, uh, and welcoming. Uh, which was really nice. It's definitely worth a visit. We even had a gordita. We That's stopped right. at a food stall and had a gordita. Um, love gorditas. And this one was really tasty. It's just a really good experience. We also picked up some um, chocolates that are sort of traditional for the area. They're called yeah. nun farts. Mm -hmm. And they were very delicious, tasty, very sweet and rich and awesome. So yeah, it's just fun. And even if you're not gonna eat anything or buy anything, it's worth the experience to just take a stroll through the different stalls. When we popped out of the Mercado, we were still a little hungry, so we saw a little torta shop, so we grabbed a torta pastor. Yep. Getting to the Mercado, we went through this beautiful little park, so we just had our, our torta in the park and enjoyed the scenery yeah. and the people around us, and that was really nice. Yeah, it was like really delightful. It's a good experience for your first day, kind of uh, gets you sort of oriented to everything and, and enjoying the vibe of yeah. the plazas, which there's quite a few here, so it's definitely a local activity to just hang out in them. Another awesome activity if you're in town is to take a hike, literally hike, up the steps to the El Pipala statue. Um, it's a statue that's sort of above the city and there's a beautiful viewing platform looking down onto the, the town and it's just, it's a wonderful, um, it's a wonderful visit to have. Now, it does, it does take some effort to get up there for sure, but yeah. I think it was worth every single stair that we climbed. Every huff and every puff. Every huff and puff. It was awesome. Coming down from the Pipala Monument, <laughs> coming down from the Pipala Monument, uh, we had to go discover the Callejón del Beso, which is essentially the, the kissing alley. And uh, what it is, is is a couple of balconies that are super close together, and there's a whole mythology around it, uh, kind of a Romeo and Juliet story about lovers that weren't supposed to, you know, be together, and a tragic ending. So anyway, it's a nice little place, and there's actually a lot of tourists go there to see it. Guanajuato's own Romeo and Juliet story. What did the dad do? Dad stabbed the daughter. Oh god. When she was kissing the man is apparently what I read. It's a kiss yeah, of I don't death. know their name. One place we highly recommend to eat for dinner, um, and we had an amazing experience there, is Los Campos and the food there was amazing. Yeah. They had um, super tasty margaritas. I'm a huge margarita fan and I've been really enjoying trying them out whenever possible. So that's what we ordered and they were them good. And then we also had some delicious um, sort of smaller plates. We had the elote con jalapeno fritters, I believe. Um, and then we also ordered uh, a pork dish, mm. which was like a pork chop done pastor style. So it was served with this beautiful, juicy grilled piece of pineapple. Um, yeah, it was just awesome. Oh my God. There are definitely more than a few great restaurants here. Another amazing option is called Black Mamba. We had probably our favorite food experience there. It was remarkable. The small plates, I guess they have a tapas menu, they were fantastic and the cocktails were unbelievably amazing, like just out of this world. Having coffee at our hotel was a delightful treat, but there are a ton of awesome coffee shops here in Guanajuato. Um, one that we found and absolutely fell in love with is called Yesi. Mm -hmm. We returned several times for delicious cappuccinos, yep. and they come with these cute little cookies, and then we ordered extra cookies to go along with it. That became a beautiful morning tradition that we We do recommend getting dobles, doble espressos. It's only a few pesos more, and you get a lot of, 
to. So as mentioned, there are a lot of museums in this town. One that we really wanted to hit was Casa Diego Rivera. You probably heard of him, a great famous muralist from Mexico. So he was born here in Guanajuato and the casa is the casa where he was actually born for it. And I believe he was there for the first six years. Yeah. And the first floor they recreated what it would have been like for him in his house at that time. And then in the second floor was his work or some of his works through many of his periods. Yeah. Which was unbelievable. So cool. Unfortunately, they didn't allow uh, video in there. And then on the third floor, they had other artists. And I guess they were trying to integrate Diego's art with, with some of uh, these other artists. And that was really cool too. The whole experience was, was fantastic and we highly recommend going. And if you're an art lover, there are other options for you here as well. Just down the street from the Casa Diego Rivera is the Museo de Arte Contemporano, um, which was another place that we visited. So we recommend either doing both or one or the other if um, if you don't have time for both. Yeah. Um, the Contemporary Art Museum was one of our, our favorite experiences. Oh. I think it was yeah. really Amazing. cool. Just the way they've laid out the rooms with the sculptures and the paintings. And a couple of other cool things to note about that museum is that there's a little bar inside of it. Yeah. So you can stop there if you'd like and if they're open. And also there's a shop where you can buy pottery. Yes. Um, and it's really not that expensive. Not expensive. Right after visiting the museums, we wandered over to Conquistador Cafe. There's a few of them in town. I think there's three of them. They're all actually within a few blocks of each other and they make fantastic coffee. We sat in there, fueled up uh, with a couple of cortados. And while we were there, uh, 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 an artist came in and sat across from us and then he started sketching me and uh, he handed it to me. And I gotta be honest, I didn't know what to do. Obviously I said thank you and I was super appreciative, but I wasn't sure, was I supposed to buy him a, you know, a, a drink or was I supposed to, um, I don't know, I don't have the etiquette. Uh, for when somebody hands you a drawing that they just made of you. But anyway, it felt like a special experience and it, it just aligned so beautifully with, with the contemporary art and the Casa Diego Rivera. It just felt really cool. A tasty option for lunch is La Escarola. Yeah. We stumbled in there and it was a wonderful place to go. We had two tacos and they also had a really great version of a limonada, which has become a favorite. Drink of choice. Drink. Um, before the margaritas come out for the day, but um, we just really loved our experience there. Um, they have Wi-Fi, you can plug your computer in, there's a courtyard outside. It's just really friendly and welcoming and beautiful. It was a great place to have lunch. If you're looking for a yummy vegan option and you happen to be near Plaza Allende, we highly recommend stepping into Habibti Falafel. Everything, by the way, is super close. It only takes five to 10 minutes to walk to any of these sites, which, yes. is, which is really cool. When you look at the view, you think it's gonna take you all day to get across the town, but it doesn't. It, it takes a very short period of time. So that's kind of uh, really cool, actually. Pretty much everything that you plug into Google Maps comes back with like a two to five minute walk. Yeah, now some of those, yeah. some of those minutes are hard minutes because you're going Absolutely. up, but... Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, nice and close. If you're looking for another place to eat in the evening, we highly recommend Castel Cultura, a cool upscale place near the um, Plaza... Baratillo. Baratillo. So a little bit off the beaten path and uh, we had a, a great meal there and the service was great, the cocktails were great. It's exactly the kind of thing that we love. Oh my God, it was wonderful. Yeah. And we lucked out and got to sit on the balcony. They have a little balcony overlooking the street with three small tables.
Yeah, so right at the end of our dinner, one of the traditional Calle Yonadas was coming up the street. It's like a traditionally dressed group of men wandering through the streets singing. And you can pay money to tag along. Tag along with them and sing along with them if you'd like. It's all in Spanish. It's sort of classic songs. Um, and it's just everywhere. It fills the, the evening sound here in Guanajuato. It's fantastic to experience. And I think we felt really lucky that they were just coming by. It was one of their routes below where we were having dinner. So just added to the magic of that moment. <laughs> Well, that's it for our time in Guanajuato. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out our Mexico playlist for more of our Mexico videos.